Let us now look at the concept of intersection of a line and a parabola. This is very similar to intersection of a line and a circle. So we take a line y is equal to mx plus c. Uh, taking a line y is equal to mx plus c and uh, a parabola y square equal to 4ax. Uh, what you simply need to do is uh, find the points of intersection of these two. So it's very evident from the figure that these two can intersect in three ways. The first way is this, that they intersect at two points. The second way is that the line touches uh, the parabola and not intersected. So it can just, you know, just touch and pass like this. And the third is they are away, right? So there are three cases possible. Let's see how we can determine which, what will happen here. So basically, let's try to, you know, first find the point of intersection of these two. So y equal to mx plus c, I'll take up and I'll put it in y square equal to 4ax. So I get mx plus c whole square equal to 4ax. And rearranging, I get this quadratic. I get this quadratic in x. Now, the thing is, uh, from this quadratic, uh, just this x will have, this quadratic will have two roots. If this uh, line is intersecting uh, the parabola in two points, it will just have one root if it's if it's just touching. And it will have no roots if uh, the line and the parabola are away. So that's what your quadratic in x is. So uh, for that, we need to, you know, evaluate the discriminant. So the discriminant is this from this quadratic. If this discriminant is greater than zero, then uh, the line and the parabola will intersect in two points. If this discriminant is equal to zero, it will just touch. That is basically the condition for tangency, right? We will also see in tangents. And uh, the third one is uh, this current is less than zero. The line in the circle, will, the line in the parabola will be away. So in fact, if you impose the condition, then this is equivalent to a square greater than m squared c square, right? That is the condition. Uh, and this one is a square is equals to m square c square and this is a square less than m square c square where am i getting these from i'm just getting these uh, from this so for instance uh, if uh, discriminant is greater than zero then 4 into mc minus 2a uh, whole square minus 4 m square c square uh, minus 4 m square c square should be greater than zero right that is the condition i'll take 4 common m square c square plus uh, 4a square minus 2 or minus 4mca minus m square c square greater than 0 right this 4 and this 4 they got cancelled so this and this gets cancelled finally I have uh, a is greater than mc right a is greater than mc so in fact uh, you can also say that this has to hold good a is greater than mc you can remove the squares also from here uh, so this, from here you get that conditions, uh, you don't need to remember these three conditions, you just need to remember this method uh, and this is the condition for tangency that we will see in the next session, the tangent to uh, a parabola. So let's move on to the next subject.